All right. So as I mentioned yesterday, so uh, today uh, we are talking about a Nash template. Uh, so this will be kind of a you know, shortcut to create a uh, easy to instances as and when we need it. So basically, uh, we'll create a template. A template will contain all the information about the instance, so that we can use this template whenever we need during the instance creation. For example. Uh, if we have a requirement to have tt dot micro, by selection of that one AMI, and by uh, let's uh, let's say we also select a couple of subnet details and also keep there, right? So, so let me just quickly show that and uh, let us uh, come back to our uh, no, theory part. See what I'm trying to say. We have uh, some service called you know, template under EC2. Let's click on the EC2. See, here you have an option for launch template. So please click here. And this is a way to create a instance. So every time you don't have to select all the uh, necessary options which are needed to create an instance. Instead, we can create a template which, which has the information about the instance. Going forward, we just have to uh, know, uh, select this instance while, create, while creation of a EC2 instance so that uh, most of the work will be avoided during the instance creation. For example, so let's say I want Amazon uh, Linux with uh, some whatever, uh, C2, whatever the, you know, the naming convention you would like to keep. So the, here, uh, basically, we are trying to create a template which has the information on the so, And this is the description. I'll just give like this. And so here, what is needed uh, to create a instance? We need to have a selector AMI. Which the AMI selection can be done. So if 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 you find something in the recent search, you can select that. Else, you just uh, click on Quick Start. And if you want to uh, now have a more uh, AMI, you can click here and you can browse the AMI as well. So as I'm, my intention is to create Amazon Linux machines. So I've selected this uh, AMI so that this will be noted down so that whenever I use a template by the name Amazon Linux C2, then this, whatever the configuration which I'm selecting, that will be copied over and which will help us to create a instance. We will see that. And let's say uh, instance type we are selecting. So here we can select any uh, instance what we need. So here also I'm selecting C2.micro. And uh, key pair, so I'm just uh, selecting uh, the existing one which I already created. And so leave this uh, subnet part as it is. Um, so because uh, we have not studied anything on the subnet, so just leave as it is. And now file wall do you can, if you want, you can create a new one or you can make use of the existing one. So if I if need, I'll just uh, make use of launch wizard 16, which has three, uh, Ports which have enabled 80, 80, 80, and 22. And I'm selecting this one. All right. And what else we needed for instance creation? We need a EBS volume, volume details as well. If you want to add additional volume, we can add it again. So for now, I'm just keeping a simple. So I'm just maintaining the default 8 GB of uh, memory. And if you want to add some tag or if you want to install something, you're going to you can always you can copy over some bootstrap script as well. So by default, it will act as a web server and one that is in. So I'll just click on create launch instance. Now we have not created an instance, but instead we have gathered all the necessary information to create an instance. What we can do? So here uh, just uh, come down and click on launch template and now we can see a template which which has a name called amazon linux t2 and going forward whenever you need some instances just select here go to actions launch instance from template right so here we are creating an instance now our job is to select only the template which is available and also we can see some version 
we will see that what is the version. See, I'm just trying to select a Amazon Linux template. And here corresponding version will be added automatically. We will talk about the version a little later. See, everything is pre configured I don't have to select anything. If you need it, you can change it anyway, but this will be the default one. So what are the steps which I follow? I just get into a launch template. I selected the template which I have created and getting into actions, click on the launch instance from template. Only the thing is I'll have to select the template. Uh, so I may have, I can create around 5,000 templates per region. So we will see that. Uh, now I'm, I'm selecting a template and also I'm selecting the version. That's it, everything is ready. Now I'm clicking on launch template. Issue. The selected I'm just selecting the security group as well. Now I'm able to create an instance. So by default, it should be acting as a web server. So what I did was, so I just created a template which is needed to create a instance. Now let us come back to our uh, topic. So here, whatever the options which have selected, whatever the options I found during the uh, launch template, these are all not mandatory. These are all the options are optional. So if for example, if I select something else, or if I just if I do some mistake while creating the template, then uh, template creation of a template will not uh, stop you to create that. Instead, it is uh, the instance will not be getting created during the instance creation by selecting the template. So what I'm trying to say, whatever the options we see under this template are optional. So we we can select and there are no much validations as well. We can select the parameters however we need. If we do some mistake when you know, launching the template, then uh, we may find some issues while creating the instance upon selection of this template, right? And also uh, we can create around 5,000 uh, templates per region and also for uh, each uh, template, we can create around 10,000 versions. What do you mean by version? For example, let's get into here. What I have selected here, uh, let's, let's get into the details. Here I've selected the instance type as micro. Now I want to keep all the uh, settings of this uh, Amazon Linux C2, but I just need a little changes on the instance type. Now, what we can do, we can modify the setting of this instance. We can modify the setting of this particular template. Now, I'm doing the changes under the template called Amazon Linux C2. Whatever the version or whatever the changes which I'll be doing, a separate version will be created under this template. This is called as a version in the template which means we can create around 5,000 templates per region and per template, I can create a maximum up to 10,000 versions. Let us try to modify something and let's see what is the version. See, here also you can see this is the default version we have. And even if you, if you go to your, you know, uh, if you just uh, click on the launch instance, On instance from the template. Here in the option itself, you can see there is a temp source template and corresponding source template version. As we have only one template and we have only one 
uh, version which is the default one right so that's what you are seeing this is the default version which we are seeing correct so if we just select it also there will be a only one uh, version which is available under this template so that's the reason we are seeing it now let us try to edit this one let's see what will happen now i uh, the first uh, the default version will have the instance type as c2.micro and let me try to edit this one so in order to do that just select the uh, template click on the actions modify template which means creating a new version if you want to delete you can read the version as well so now i'm modifying the template now uh, the name everything is remains same the name of the uh, template remains same because we are just modifying a uh, little uh, configuration under, under the same template if i mean if you want you can you know you can work on the uh, key pair whatever you you need it but uh, let me just select the another key pair eligible let's see t1 dot micro right now uh, nothing i've just you know, so create a template version see in in the option itself you can see create a template version not the create template right now here we can see the latest version would be 2 but the default version will be 1 how to validate we have two versions here let us see that now let me click on the launch template now click on uh, action launch instance from template now you should be seeing a uh, one template under one under this template i should be seeing two versions let's see let me select the template which i have created and i should be seeing minimum two versions right see that first uh, default version would be what it says c2.micro please please uh, observe here if i selected the so so template version of this template the default version would be selected and which is giving me c2.micro i select the second version previously we were not seeing this this version right as and when i select this second version then the instance type we could see a uh, instance instance type got changed so this is the advantage of uh, having the versions of a particular template right so and as i mentioned whatever the parameters which we are seeing all the parameters are optional so if we do some mistakes and uh, you know while creating the uh, template so template validation will not happen here instead while creation of a ecit instance out of the template we should be uh, getting a error so that will i mean it stops you to creating a create cre stop you to create a ecit instance out of the template okay any questions here okay so let me just stop it and let, let me just terminate it and also let me get into dance template let me delete this one as well if you want you can delete some version also you can cast this as well okay so i've deleted everything this is about launch template so you can make use of this template so we can set some standards and we can create i mean uh, we can share this particular template so that uh, whenever we need to create any instances we can just make it of these settings which are already configured and if you need it so which is not uh, we we are not overriding the existing configuration instead uh, we are creating a addition a new newer version for each and every changes with respect to a template Okay, so this is the steps um, just mentioned here. So I'll be sharing this. You can follow this. One. Now there is a big topic called auto scaling, right? So let's let's try to have you know a, a little demo and let us understand what is auto scaling. And later we'll try to you know involve a couple of complex uh, items. in aws and we'll try to implement uh, a similar to our real time uh, project so we will we will do that right?
So just now, I mean, uh, just to understand what is Atos is telling, in our organization, or uh, let's say, uh, most of our uh, e-commerce website, if you consider uh, Amazon, right, or Flipkart, whatever. So most of our uh, e-commerce website are completely dependent on the traffic. What do you mean by traffic? Which means completely depends on the user. There might be a scenario during our uh, festival season or during some big, uh, big billion day or whatever uh, the naming convention they use to market their product to reach maximum user. Right? So they may introduce something called as an offer. So definitely we will be looking looking for offers so that we can get the uh, product at a less price. Right? So during that, definitely they'll try to keep some offers to attract the customer. During that period, whatever the period uh, they launch some offers, definitely we may expect some huge profit compared to the normal one. For example, so we have only one offer which will be given uh, during the time of Christmas. Okay. During Christmas, let's say a, a company called Amazon, they may, they may uh, offer, uh, they may give some good deals and discounts so that uh, most of the customers can you know, uh, make use of this benefit. Okay, this is just, you know, just consider this, this, this one as an example, where uh, during some period, for example, only for one month, we may expect huge profit by hitting uh, Amazon. But, but the rest of the month, uh, you know, from January to November, we may not get this much of traffic on this particular website. Now, if, for example, uh, January to November, this particular uh, website is serving serving the user with some uh, 10 machines, 10 EC, 10 servers. Which means this particular Amazon website has hosted, this has hosted and which is serving with 10 different computers. Now, user will hit uh, something called as Amazon.in and this will be our load balance. And there will be a domain called Amazon. Now, how the request will go? So, Amazon.in, this is the uh, DNS uh, which will be provided to the end user. So they'll hit uh, this URL. Once they hit the U URL, the corresponding load balancer will take will, will be taken care of. The sending the traffic to the, to the necessary EC2 instance, which are hosted. All the instances which are present in these group are having the common implementation of the site, so that uh, during the month of January till November, these instances are you know, serving the request in a very good manner. Now, let us consider in the month of uh, December, they may, complete month, they may give a good offer, then definitely we may expect more traffic compared to January to November. In this case, definitely it's our responsibility to increase the configuration of these instances or we can increase the number of instances. We have two options. Either we can increase the configuration of these instances, or we can increase we can increase the number of uh, ECT instances, or the whatever the servers we have, and we can increase the 
and we can we can serve the user input. But because of only one month, it is not a good practice to have twenty instances. For example, during the month of uh, December, I may need a, a minimum of twenty servers. Twenty servers in December, whereas ten uh, servers, which can suffice my requirement till January to November. If this is my requirement, then it is not a good practice to go ahead and spin up all the twenty instances. To solve the request, where the most of the ten servers would remain idle during the month of January to November. Because of this one, AWS has come up with some concept called auto scaling. What do you mean by auto scaling? Auto scaling is a mechanism which will help us to spin up the uh, instances or spin up the servers. As and when the as and when needed, when when my requirement or uh, when the traffic are coming less, we can always we can scale down, scale down the instance. Which means if you have a mechanism to uh, increase the EC2 instances based on the conditions which we which we we will be giving, and once these December December month gets over, and they, when we when we observe that there are less traffic which are coming and hitting this particular website, then this particular uh, service will take will take care of increasing the instances as well as de de to decrease the instances as per the need. This is something called as auto scaling, which means auto scaling will help us to increase the number of instances based on the user request or Automatically, it it does take in, it does take care of the decrease of the instances or remove the instances from this group. So that, let's say, if thousand requests are thousand requests are coming, and these thousand requests are handled by ten uh, computers or ten servers, which is fine. And if we expect more than thousand uh, requests or if we get thousand hundred requests, then immediately I ask my you know. Uh, Auto scaling to increase one instance, so that this particular hundred, uh, another hundred request can be served by another instance, so that uh, the number of instance become eleven. And later, uh, we may we may get another hundred request. For example, we may get around thousand two hundred request. Then again, I'll I'll tell my auto scaling to increase another one. I'll just increase another one. And probably, uh, later point of time, I may get again a thousand requests. You know, for some time, then I'll I'll just delete the two instances which have created. So this is how the scaling up as and scaling down will happen with the help of auto scaling. Okay, so basically auto scaling which will help you to maintain the application availability so at the at any point of time here we'll mention this is what the minimum size of the instances you should keep to serve the user request and which will help automatically to add some instances if needed or you can also delete the instances based on the user prompt here we need to understand three things here we need so there is something called as minimum size Desired capacity and maximum size. This is something called as minimum size, desired capacity, and maximum size. What do you mean by minimum size? If I just mention minimum size as one, it's always tries to maintain uh, at least one easy instance. To serve a user request, at least one. And if I just mention maximum capacity or max size, if I just mention as ten, it can't spin up an instance beyond ten. So it can, you know, uh, let's see, even though if your traffic is getting increased, so it just looks for the maximum size of the instances. And if you mention ten, even if you receive more traffic, uh, 
11th instance will not be created with the help of the auto scaling. So before implementing this auto scaling, we should be in a position to understand the traffic and the usage as well. So it is always good practice to give a higher end uh, while creating the EC2, I mean, while creating the auto, auto scaling. And now we have something called as desired capacity. Desired capacity will be maintained or will be implemented during the uh, auto scaling. So creation. While creating, while setting up this auto scaling, then this is capacity coming to the Navin, you are not audible. Anyone able to hear Navin? No, Pratishta, I think the screen got traced. Can you hear me now? Yes, Navin. Okay, sorry, there was some power failure. Okay. So, desired capacity comes into the picture uh, when we are creating auto scale. So, what exactly it does? So, if I just mentioned two, definitely, you know, uh, it, it may it tries to maintain at least two servers in the group, irrespective of any. Uh, circumstances, it tries to keep at least uh, two instances at two servers. Let us try to implement in a. Uh, let us try to implement with by considering this fact, and let's see if uh, what is desired capacity, what is max size, and what is min size, and how to create a auto scale. Right. So basically, it will automatically help you to create. I mean, to add your a couple of instances based on your user request. Or you can also remove some of the instances based on the incoming request. So this is this is called as auto scaling. Any questions on the auto scaling? See, basically, definitely we need to have a load balancer. So load balancer will take care of the distribution of the traffic. And uh, in the initial stage, if you have two instances, if the if the requests are handled by the two requests, I mean, if the requests are handling with the Two instances that is fine. What if 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 you if you start receiving more traffic on this particular load balancer, then this will be completely occupied and definitely you will see the latency. In this case, uh, if you have an option to automatically judge the capacity or judge the uh, the incoming traffic which are coming in, and it analyzes the traffic and immediately if needed, it does create a new instances based on the request and. Once we get the stabilized uh, environment, or uh, once once we once we receive a constant uh, request for some time, if we, if we think that these servers no longer needed, then auto scaling itself, which will take which will take care of the deletion of these instances. This auto scaling we only use and recommend for the especially on the e-commerce website. If if you, if you Consider you are receiving a traffic in a normalized way, then we don't need to implement the auto scaling. If you see a sudden you know, spike or sudden differences in your uh, traffic, then it is recommended to use a auto scaling. Any questions here? Uh, Navin, I have one question. Yes, Sinak. Uh, thing is like you know uh, the auto scaling will work on uh, this uh, network traffic or the application it does support uh, both application and network both. now when it comes to traffic uh, if we are uh, I mean, uh, all the crowd are using the same application uh, we'll be having one more instance where the load balancer will uh, means activate the second one if if it exceeds, then it will create one more instance, is it? Yeah. 
yeah thank you for example if you have two if you have two instances which are handled by the load balancers right and uh, if if load balancers observe uh, if more requests are coming in then it it does take a help of auto scaling and it does create a additional instance as per our condition and after after some time if it observes uh, the load balancer is receiving a less traffic then auto scaling will just maintain whatever the desired capacity and it does delete the uh, the excess one so this is how we can save the cost of the server but again whenever we create a instance uh, whenever a new instance which are coming in so we don't have to manually install or manually set up something and everything everything will be taken care by auto scaling itself so whatever the content which are present under the first instance the same content or same softwares and same setups will be available on the newly created instance as part of the auto scale okay let us try to understand uh, by creating a auto scale so there are two steps first of all we need to create a launch configuration and then we should be creating a auto scaling group what exactly launch configuration tells launch configuration tells whenever if i get a chance to create a instance whenever we get a chance to create a instance as per the user need whatever the what configuration you need what software needs to be installed or what additional implementation you need to do so just try to maintain all those information in the launch configuration and in the auto scaling group basically here we'll create a this part so we'll create a load balancer and as i mentioned if we just create a application load balancer or network load balancer we are supposed to you know create a target groups so from the target group it does communicate to the available server right everything will be creating with the help of auto scaling group the last configuration will have help us to create the specification of a your server it is almost similar to your launch template i i i don't think you see a much difference uh, of launch configuration which we have seen here and the launch template as well let us try to create a launch configuration why do we need a launch configuration whenever auto scaling come into the picture then auto scaling should know which configuration it needs to incorporate to spin up a new instance so in order to do that we are creating a configuration so we have two options either we can make use of the template we can make use of the template launch template as well or we can create a launch configuration as we have already uh, discussed about launch template now uh, i am also showing an option to create a launch configuration now let me click on the launch configuration i am just giving a name called amazon configuration okay let's say um, i am working for amazon uh, website now i am trying to keep a, a specification of a amazon website configuration so i'm just giving a name as amazon for now i have to select a ami so here unfortunately uh, i can't select i mean i don't have a filter something like that but it is recommended to use a with the help of ami id what is ami id let us try to create a instance and we'll see what is the ami id okay. if you want it to run micro just you know you will see a uh, id this is the ami id so this ami id refer amazon linux to with kernel version 5.0 right so this is the version if you just select here and you can if you want some other right if you want c5 or c6 or whatever the uh, instance type you need or whatever the configuration you, you need or whatever the uh, configuration of your operating system for example what do we have it here so we have uh, the, num the number of ram and the number of vcpus so accordingly we will be selecting the ami right so if 
for practice purpose, I'm just uh, just selecting the AMI of Kitty dot micro, right? So this is just test it here. So here you can see that. Now I uh, selected the AMI which I would like to uh, select. Now I'm also selecting the instance set. So just select here and type keto dot micro because uh, we are interested in a free tier eligible uh, instances. So I'm just selecting keto dot micro as a type. It is almost similar to your last template. And now we don't know anything about AM rules. So I'm just keeping as default one. And here it is giving me a default uh, 8 GB of root volume, which is fine. If you want to select a new security group, fine. Else you can select the the, uh, the existing one also. So you can select anything. Okay, let me select the 16. What else? Okay, so let me click the, let me select the key pair and you we should acknowledge saying that we know what is the PEM file which we'll be using to connect to this server and creating the we have created a launch configuration. So this this will be used this will be used to create a auto scaling. Right? So I have created a launch template. So this template refers a creation of a computer and installing the necessary software. Right. <laughs> so, what is the second step? I should click on the auto scaling group. Now, we don't have any uh, auto scaling group. Let us click on auto scaling group. And if you if you just observe here, till now we don't have any instances which are created. So we we don't see any instance because we have not created any instance as such. We will be creating those instances now. Now I am creating an auto scaling group. What exactly auto scaling group will have? Auto scaling group will have the necessary information about the load balancer. Correspondingly, we have will will be having our target groups and associated <coughs> web server. Now let me just give a name called AWS Auto Zero One. So this will be my auto scaling group name and as i mentioned see here you can see two options you can see by default it is giving you an option of select selecting the launch template if we have any template in our you know as i'll discuss here if you know if you have if you have created any template under launch template we'll be able to see that one if you don't have so we have created a launch configuration instead of launch template please click here so that you'll be able to see the option of selection of launch configuration so this is the launch configuration which we have created right the launch. this is the configuration which we have created and i'm just selecting that one. click on next now let let us see that that is what Vargavi. so you must see this one right this is the default one so we must see that and the subnet and availability one. As I mentioned, it is good practice to select uh, whichever the availability zone where you would like to keep your instances. So it is recommended to select a two to three, but for our practice, it's good practice to select the uh, the number of availability zones so that the traffic can be distributed to different different data centers where uh, our uh, computers are hosted. Now click on next. Now, see here you have some options of either you can go go and uh, work on uh, auto scaling without a load balancer. Also, if you have some uh, already created load balancer, definitely you can create you can select the load balancer if you have something. As of now, we don't have any load balancers which are created. Now I should attach a new load balancer. Now please click on the load balancer. And here you can see we could only see application load balancer and network load balancer. Correct, right? Uh, we know you are asking. So we can uh, implement the auto scaling either with 
HTTP or HTTPS protocols as well as uh, TCP, UDP, or TLS are the other protocols with the help of network load balancer. Let us try to implement with the help of application load balancer. Now, let us give a name to a load balancer, TLP, something like this. Now, again, we should select are we selecting the internal internal facing load balancer or internet facing load balancer? If we have a private network kind of a VPC, it is good to uh, select internal, but as of now, we don't have anything related to VPC. So that's the reason we are, uh, and we want to uh, access this anywhere in the world. So that's the reason we are selecting option as internet facing. Now you can see the available uh, subnets which have selected. And here, as I mentioned, so without a target group, we can't create a application or network load balancer. So if we have some existing one, we can select them. If we don't have, let us create a new one. So what I'm doing, I'm just creating a target group to this application load balancer. Now, see most of the works are done here, which means I'm creating a load balancer application load balancer on top of it i'm also creating a target group now i don't have to explicitly attach the instances here whatever the instances which will be creating as part of the auto scaling all the instances will get attached to this target group and this target group in turn attached to this load balancer right so, so now i'll just keep the settings as it is now, this is the important section here. I was talking about what is desired minimum or maximum, right? As I was saying, let's say if 1,000 requests are handled by 10 servers, which means my desired capacity would be 10, right? And worst case, we should have some minimum uh, size. Our minimum size refers to irrespective of the condition of the network or uh, infrastructure, this particular target group or this auto scaling should have, should maintain minimum number of instances. That is called as the, uh, minimum capacity. In my case, I'll just say desired capacity as two for now, so that while creation of this auto scaling group, it should have desired capacity of two, and I'll just say minimum capacity as one, and if the traffic, you know, is keep on increasing, I'll just, I'll just say, whatever the traffic we may get on this, it should, uh, should not exceed more than 10 instances. Okay. Right? Are you getting my point? So the desired capacity, our auto scaling always looks for this desired capacity. So once we create this auto scaling, there will be two instances automatically get created under instances right by mistake if you delete one instance out of two again auto scaling will look for the desired capacity hey he has mentioned desired capacity as two then definitely it is my responsibility to keep the two instances in running state so let me launch a another one to satisfy this desired capacity and if the traffic are getting increased then automatically we can increase the we will see how to increase and which parameter we can increase. We will see we have something called as you know tracking scaling policy. So basically here uh, we have many options. We will we will implement that you know in the upcoming sessions. For now, just to make it simple, just to understand what is out of scaling. So I'm just uh, you know maintaining this configuration. So desired configuration, desired capacity would be two, which means as and when uh, uh, my auto scaling will keep on look for this uh, parameter as we have mentioned here too irrespective of uh, any conditions it does try to make tries to maintain two instances and maximum it can go up to 10 but always it makes sure that it should have minimum one instance at, at, at least okay now what i'll do i'll just mention none here i'm not uh, selecting any scaling policies we will see uh, probably later sessions and notifications we can add notifications here i mean we can send out a email saying that uh, as and when when new instance 
get created or if some instance uh, got terminated by other killing we 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 can you know uh, get the notification by email or we can get the notification via sms so this can be done but uh, no we will we'll keep it simple for today and we will learn the rest of the topics you know by on monday no what is attack whenever we create a instance with the help of auto scaling then instance name uh, instance get created with the help of this name so here the name i'm uh, key i'm giving as name uh, as name and value as a web server so that whatever the instances we are creating uh, with the help of auto scaling all will have the name for web server so click on next and you can just review the things so i uh, selected all the subnets under network and load balancer i am creating and health check it is uh, doing it for uh, 300 seconds and here i uh, mentioned desired capacity should be 2 so it always says to maintain two instances and minimum will be one and maximum it can go up to 10 even though if we get more traffic uh, it should it will not exceed uh, 10 instances now create auto scaling that's it now after creation of this auto scaling right so what it is saying so it's updating the capacity so here we have clearly mentioned so we have we are creating a, i mean there are two instances under this auto scaling group and dz capacity would be 2 see i have not created any instances uh, with the help of launch instance i have not selected anything but still we could see two instances which are running see the first instance is already in running state and second instance is is also running this is what auto scaling for example let's say if i delete this one let's say let me delete or let me terminate this one maybe by mistake or you know uh, intentionally we are deleting this now auto scaling what exactly it does it does look for this configuration say you have mentioned the desired capacity as two then but uh, when i look back i have only one ec2 instance in the auto scaling now we should be i mean auto scaling will be automatically turned up and which will take care of the creation of the instance based on the desired capacity configuration we'll wait for some time uh, once this terminated yeah i think so probably sometime we'll be able to see a another one Okay. Meantime, if I have any questions, then we'll go ahead. So, as per our conditions, uh, we should be having two desired capacity. So, which means I should be able to one more instance should be automatically screened up by at a scale. So, we are waiting for it. Yeah, see, this is also it is it is creating now. So this is the beauty of auto scaling. So it means based on the user request, based on on our condition. So it it is completely managed by us. If you just if you just say desired capacity is four, four instances will be created during the uh, creation of auto scaling, and definitely it does maintain. It does you know try to maintain the desired capacity of. Desired capacity number of instances in our infrastructure. Okay. Now I think uh, it is running. Uh, it will come in a running. So this is how auto yeah it has come. Now uh, it is satisfying this condition so that my application will run smoothly. And uh, probably uh, in the coming session we will try to increase the traffic or we will try to decrease the traffic. then automatically a couple of instances will be uh, spinned up or couple of instances will be terminated as well automatically so this is 
one uh, scenario where we can use first auto scaling so auto scaling implementation is uh, implementation of auto scaling is a good practice one and only if we have if we see huge spike in the traffic if we, if you if you are receiving the normal traffic every day then it is not a good practice to uh, implement this uh, auto scaling but if you have uh, some you know huge changes or drastic changes in the, in the user request then it is good to implement so the reason why we uh, why we have auto scaling see probably as i mentioned in the month of december i don't need these machines only just because of this uh, i cannot keep these machines along with the existing machine right so it will be waste of money so that's the reason we have a mechanism whenever we need more instances so we'll just spin up and whatever the machines which we are creating which which is the replica of this machine whatever the facilities whatever the software and configurations we find here everything will be available in the newly created instances also so this is one of the beauty of auto scaling so and if the traffic are coming less then whatever the newly created servers it get terminated by auto scale so everything will be taken care by auto scale any questions here uh navin one question uh here it is like you know the minimum size and uh, the desired cap uh, sorry the maximum size i understood uh, is there any chances like you know uh, as a part of business expansion can we change the desired capacity from 2 to 4 or 3 definitely so we can edit uh, we can edit that uh, options right definitely Uh, and and one more uh, doubt now in see uh, since we are doing this auto scaling uh, whatever uh, servers which are available here you can see right so this is the auto scaling uh, which which we have created and here i'm just editing so you can always change the desired capacity so if i just means if i just uh, put it three then one more instance gets created let us see that one also yeah Uh, and and the other question is like you know the uh, as a part of auto scaling uh, amazon will create one more instance that's it right no no more uh, applications then how come it is like you know uh, identical for uh, the existing servers uh, uh, if the additional server is getting created that is what here we have a option of launch template right so sorry uh, launch configuration in the launch configuration here we'll mention the available software i mean uh, everything will be uh, uh, in this in this scenario can't we use ami or snapshots because th those will be uh, up to date right That is what we are using, right? Here we are creating an image. See, so maybe you mistake. See, uh, the launch con the first test we create a launch configuration. The launch configuration will uh, talk about the necessary software and ports, whatever uh, we are uh, we have as a web server. Let's say this is the machine one which is having the all the configuration or uh, the implementation of Amazon website. Right now we will. instead of select, selecting the ami of the existing one i'll just create an image of that instance i'll just use it you see my point yeah 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 now i understood what for, for now how did we uh, uh, create our uh, launch configuration so i just selected any of the uh, in i mean ami which is selected okay for example i'm selecting this ami instead if you have a custom ami you can always select that that's how it works right so just i mean just to make it simple i'm just you know uh, going with uh, the basic one and even in advanced setting so where you see some ad yeah, advanced setting you can also i mean uh, execute some bootstrap script as well and one more person asked maybe i, I answered wrongly uh, at that time see uh, probably bharat or somebody asked right so i'm sorry even we can you know we can enter the user data as a text or you, you can also pass a file as well so here 
if you just pass a bootstrap script here then automatically uh, it will uh, install ml uh, httpd on the instance which is created and uh, we can also implement the index.html here right this is one part typically we will be creating a, a ser server and we'll be uh, working out whatever the configuration of softwares are needed and we'll just extract that as a image and while creating a launch instance we'll just select that image so that uh, whatever the functionality of this particular uh, ser server is doing the same server can be created do you see my point you know yeah, yeah, understood. Uh, uh, sorry, Navin. Uh, the thing is, like, you know, the instance, whenever we are creating, we, uh, it will be having the AMI uh, name for that one. And that one we need to copy and we need to paste it over here. See, the launch configuration talks about creation of your instance. Yeah. If you select uh, existing AMI, which is given by AWS, it does take it. Or if you have already having an image of your own, you can select that one. Right? So that uh, while spinning up the instances, which will uh, take the reference of uh, this launch uh, configuration, under launch configuration, whatever the EMI which has selected, which will be there. If, if it is custom one, uh, it will spin up the custom uh, EMI only, or if it has uh, the existing one given by AWS, so which will take care of that. Yeah, Th thanks, man. See, we just updated the desired capacity of three. Now I could see three servers. I have not done it, anything. See, you, you know, right, how to uh, make a, a EC2 instance as a web server and we can copy the web server as a EMI, right? Correct, right? So I think we have, we, we have learned that. So just go to images and template and create an image, right? And uh, this image, you can. Uh, you can make use while creating a uh, configuration. Uh, Navin, your voice is not audible. Hello? Yes, Navin. Can you hear me? No, it's not clear. Your voice is breaking. Okay, now is it better? Is it better now? Hello. Hello. Yeah, much better. Okay. So I'm um, just uh, whatever I've created, I'm just uh, terminating them. So instance parts are done. What did we create again? So we have created a target group as well. We have created the load balance, correct? As part of this auto separate instances, now our job is to delete the load balances and target group. Also, we need to delete the launch configurations and auto scaling group. So these things we should take care as and when you complete your auto scaling part. Okay, so you could see one load balancer. Okay. Now, uh, go to actions, delete the load balancer, and once you delete the load balancer. Please uh, delete the target group as well. And come to launch configuration. 
you know so this is where uh, we mentioned the configuration right so you need uh, you know the you can set up the instance size or what are the ami so every, so if if you have extracted an ami with with the amazon website so you can just uh, take out uh, a instance you can take out an image out of that uh, instance and you can make use of that ami while creating the launch template now my things are done so i'm just creating the Because that has the auto scaling group. What is auto scaling group? We will take it this one. Okay, we will delete it. And then let us see if I can delete the launch application. Yes, it is deleted. I think I've deleted, uh, or terminated whatever I have uh, created today. So this is how you should take care of, you know, the deletion or termination of the instance which you have taken else. If you cause some cost at the end of the month. And also you can see, you can see any instance. Okay, any questions or concerns? Yeah, I'm just going through your comments. Uh, couple of okay, let me stop the recording. Thanks.